Nine in London. XFM. Wow, here's a bit of a turn up for the books. Carl Pilkington on the line. Right. Yeah, where you been? I'm, I'm off there, aren't I? Right. Okay, what's the matter with you? Just, um, just a bit bunged up and that, and got the shakes, got that sort of, that shaky thing to get. Yeah, that's cause you didn't eat last time when Suzanne was at work. Yeah, well I think that's what brought it on, plus she was away in the week and I put some wet jeans on. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, I think that's what's caused the problem. <laughs> well, when did you put them on your head? No, they were just on the maiden and the, the legs felt dry, but they just were- Just on the what? On the what? Have you- on got the maiden? maiden? What was she doing there? <laughs> what do you mean? On the maiden that you put clothes on. What? You Your clothes, clothes horse? Maiden. Your clothes horse. Well, yeah. Right, okay, so you put wet jeans on, yeah? So, uh, that's why I'm ill on that. I'm right. having a good time, I've been watching the football. So you're just sitting at home watching telly, where you could have been sitting here? Well, I would have been better off there, because I've got a chair there. I've got no chair at home at the moment. Cause Why? I sold it last week. <laughs> Why did you sell a chair? I what, you only had one chair? What? Look, can't we just, um, I just was calling up to let you know I was alright and that. We're not interested in that, we want to know about the chair. <laughs> I sold it, I had a little two-seater and the, I sold it because I'm getting a new one, but I've got to wait another month. So, so you've got to that. sit on the floor for so a So you sold a chair before you had another one? Well, she might not have wanted to buy it in a, in a month or something. So I got rid of it whilst I could, she was alright, buddy. We'll talk about that next week. Oh, you're gonna be in next week? I look forward to that then, that's a dynamite piece of radio to tune in for. The yeah. day Carl sold a chair. Brilliant. Alright. Are you alright then? It's going alright. But why did you take this long to call? We asked you to call since the because very beginning, we've been that. phoning you, why is your phone yeah, switched off? I heard the beginning, I, I heard the beginning of the show, I thought, yeah, it's going alright, they're there and stuff. Turned it off. Um, you fact, turned it off! No, no, I put a tape in though, because even though I'm ill, I'm still showing an interest in it. Well you're not, um, if you're watching football and shaking. Yeah, well I'll, I'll listen back to it later, so I hope you haven't been dissing me. No. Right? Yeah. Definitely not. Don't so listen back to it, it's not worth it, but we haven't been dissing yeah. you, no. And uh, I've just been watching, uh, a bit of football, right? Did you watch the monkey program last night? You told us to watch yeah. the monkey program, we all stayed and watched the monkey program. Alright, wasn't it? Was rubbish, wasn't it? Obviously, obviously not half chimp, half human. I mean, they, they missed out a lot of the, the interesting bits. They didn't have any interesting bits. Those are the bits that you mean? made up to make no, it more the interesting. Bit, the bits that I told you about about three months ago before they decided to make the programme. Yeah. What were the bits that you came up with? Well, they, they missed out the bits about, uh, you know, the zookeeper. Right, there wasn't a zookeeper, yeah, go on. Well, there was, but they left that bit out. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> fine. Out, and they le and they, they left out the bit where it ran from there <laughs> in oh, 1975? <laughs> In terms did of the, those that did research, they actually went and filmed it, you read it on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Chances are you're the one with the facts wrong. Yeah, they, they, uh, they, I think they also left out the bit when it jumped over three double-decker buses on a- <laughs> Yeah. Motorbike. On Evil Knievel's motorbike. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Not only do you not bother turning up, but you turn off the radio and start watching football. Oh, uh, yeah, I turned it off, but I've, I've recorded it, I'll listen back later and, and sort of- Well, what you. good is that? Sort of, I, I like to keep, you know, keep it in shape and that. I'll have a word next week. Alright. If you receive any phone calls from people you don't know, we don't know anything about that. <laughs> Instantly, we don't know why, why that is happening. That is just gonna be a weird spooky <laughs> thing, so. And, and don't bother telling the story about, um, Men in Black 2 either, cause I don't think people would be interested. Um, uh, actually on the subject of Steve, Men in Black 2. <laughs> what? Have you seen that, Steve? No, I haven't, Carl. Tell oh, me about you it. you should see it. Go on. Why? Because there's this, there's this, um, there's this thing in it. <laughs> Go on. Uh. What, a stupid, bold, Mancunian tosser? No, weirder than that. <coughs> there isn't anything weirder than that. <laughs> hey guys, it was gangly. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> I'm, uh, you've got to see it because you wouldn't believe how the likeness and that you've got to see it out tonight. Right. It's not as weird, it had a normal voice, right? He's <laughs> <laughs> done yet, it's not even here! I'll tell you what, mate, it ain't worth coming in next week. <laughs> oh, 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 stay on the line, Carl, play a record player. <laughs> Kings of Leon, Molly's Chambers. What do you think of that, Carl? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> There's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another I'd insightful what, remark. Steve is not a, a fan now. Not only does he know you've been slagging him off behind his back. No, I wasn't slagging Steve. If you get it out on the DVD tonight, you'll know I'm not slagging you off. 
It could be your brother. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that he, it makes it worse, but he's thinking, you're gonna go, oh, he wasn't slugging me off, it does look like me. I do think I'm an alien. I love the fact that you hope Steve will go, he's got a point. It's the, it's, no, it's a spitting image. Yeah. I am, seriously, Carl, I'm really angry. I'm so angry with you at the moment. You haven't seen it yet. No, I know, because I know what it's gonna be, and I'm just, I, why? I'm what's, fuming. What's, I'll tell you why I'm angry, because he doesn't do it in jest. No, but what do you think it's gonna look like? What do you think this thing's gonna look like? Gonna look ludicrous. It's not gonna look anything like me, but no, he's gonna it like, pretend it does. No, go it on, does. what? Go on. No, it does look like you. Yeah. yeah, of course it does. And you looked like the, uh, human Z. <laughs> well, you know. I mean, to be honest, you did a bit, Carl. You walked like him, you bowled like him, you got a sort of gormless face like him. <laughs> Any more? I don't smoke. That does. <laughs> I'm not arguing with you, I'm not well on that. <laughs> oh, you're not well. What exactly is wrong with you, you whinger? Well, uh, it's just, do you know, like I, I always tell you about the, um, restless leg syndrome I've got. <laughs> it's like that, yeah. but all over. So you're <laughs> just shaking around the house? I'm just, yeah. What do you look like? Elvis? What are you doing you're shaking around the I'll house? I'll tell you, with your bald head, you probably look like an enormous vibrator. <laughs> 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 oh, God. <laughs> That's what you probably look like if you strip <laughs> naked. Oh, you'll have a Scottish widow coming round. Oh, dear. That's, what's the name, by the way? I heard you talking about that. That's, um... Amanda Lamb. Amanda Lamb, who's in the Place in the Sun programme. Is she actually a widow? <laughs> Is she a Scottish widow? Uh, just, just, uh... man, my husband's <laughs> dead. Do you want any money and a bit of my clam? <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. All right. That's the sort of uh, quality you've missed out on today. Well, anyway, you're going to be back next week. I can't, we, we we need you back next week. Yeah. yeah. Well, do you know? That's also, how did you know you were going to be ill today? Because you phoned and arranged this yesterday. Convenient. And I yeah, spoke yeah, to you yesterday, yeah, and you didn't yeah, sound I very felt, ill. I felt ropey yesterday. Afternoon. You've got a bit of a bunged up nose. Even now, <laughs> I'm I have a bit of a bunged Even up now nose. I'm Ill. I still sorted it out. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm a little bit sweaty. Paul, oh, sorting out does not out. mean you phone up Sturgis and send her down. That's not sorting it out, that's making things worse. <laughs> Have you learnt nothing? Thanks, Claire. If you're not part of the solution, you're part All of the right, problem. Mate. Yeah. Ah, oh, my little- my leg's a little bit achy. <laughs> oh, wearing wet jeans. Oh, I put wet jeans on again. Oh, 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 my, oh my, my lasagna wasn't- it was frozen. Can you hear the venom and hatred in our- in our voices today? We genuinely are upset and angry with you. Yeah. Can't believe it. I cannot believe that you- I mean, oh. Right, well, the thing is, the, the, we'll be back to normal next week, right? We've got Billy Elliot doing the film <laughs> next week. Right. Uh. Any prizes? Got some good stuff. Have you got any films with Burt Reynolds in to give away on VHS? And well, uh, I'll see you then. Great, we're looking forward to it already. I'll see you later. All see right. you later.